Today, we will learn addition and subtraction of fractions. We do addition and subtraction of fractions every day. For example, if you buy half a kg of apples and one and a half kg of oranges, then the total weight of fruit will be two kgs. Suppose you have two and a quarter liters of milk, out of which you made kulfis with half a liter, then the remaining milk is one and three fourth liters. Similarly, if you have four by five parts of a chocolate, out of which one by five parts is given to your friend, then the remaining chocolate will be three by five parts of the chocolate. Addition or subtraction of fractions is not always easy. Suppose Ramesh has five by six parts of a cake. If he wants to give one fourth part of it to his friend, then to find out the remaining amount of cake, we need to subtract one by four from five by six. To find the value of this, we need to know the rules of addition and subtraction of fractions. First, we will learn about the addition and subtraction of like fractions. Look at this square. We have divided this square into 16 equal parts. Out of the 16 parts, if we fill red color in 5 parts, then what will be the fraction of red part in the whole square? Think for a while. Absolutely correct. Since 5 out of 16 parts are painted red, the fraction of red part in the whole square is 5 by 16. Similarly, out of 16 parts, if we fill yellow color in 7 parts, then the fraction of yellow part in the whole square is 7 by 16. Now can you tell me the fraction of the colored part in the whole square? Since the size of all parts is equal, we can find the number of colored parts by adding the red colored parts and yellow colored parts. That is, we have to add the numerators of both fractions. Therefore, adding 5 parts and 7 parts gives the answer 12. That means, we can say that 12 out of 16 parts are filled with color. So, the fraction of the colored part is 12 by 16. Thus, we can clearly say that 5 by 16 plus 7 by 16 is equal to 12 by 16. Therefore, in order to add any two or more than two like fractions, Numerators are added and their common denominator is kept as it is. Now let us suppose you have 7 by 12 parts of chocolate. If you give 3 by 12 parts of it to your sister, then what part is left with you? In order to find that, we have to subtract 3 by 12 from 7 by 12. As you can see, after giving 3 parts from 7 parts, the remaining parts are 4. Therefore, the fraction of the remaining parts is 4 by 12. Now can we say that 7 by 12 minus 3 by 12 is equal to 4 by 12? Yes, we can definitely say that. Since the denominator is the same, the numerators are subtracted from one another. Therefore, in order to subtract two or more than two like fractions, smaller numerator is subtracted from the larger numerator and the common denominator is kept as it is. Now let us understand the addition and subtraction of unlike fractions. Let us find out how much chocolate we get by adding 2 by 5 parts and 1 by 3 parts of a chocolate. To do so, first we make two equal rectangles. To represent the fraction 2 by 5, we divide the first rectangle into 5 equal parts and shade two parts of it. Similarly, to represent the fraction 1 by 3, we divide the second rectangle into three equal parts and shade one part of it. Since the size of the parts is not equal, we cannot add them directly. If we make the number of parts equal, then the size of the parts get equal automatically. So let's make the number of parts equal. Can you think of a way to do this? Let me tell you. If we divide each of these five parts into three parts, then the total number of parts will be 15. Similarly, if we divide these three parts into five parts, then too we get 15. Now both rectangles are divided into 15 equal parts. Since here, 6 out of 15 parts are shaded, the fraction will be 6 by 15. 
Similarly, here 5 out of 15 parts are shaded. Therefore, the fraction will be 5 by 15. Thus, the equivalent fraction of 2 by 5 is 6 by 15 and the equivalent fraction of 1 by 3 is 5 by 15. Now, the total number of shaded parts in both the rectangles is 11 out of 15. Therefore, we can say that 2 by 5 parts and 1 by 3 parts of a chocolate make 11 by 15 parts of a chocolate. Now, suppose you have 5 by 6 parts of a cake, out of which you have to give 1 by 4 parts of cake to your friend. How will you find the remaining part of cake? In order to find this, we need to subtract 1 by 4 from 5 by 6. Let us learn how to do this. First, we make two equal circles to represent the cake. To represent the fraction 5 by 6, we will divide the first circle into 6 equal parts and shade 5 parts. Similarly, to represent the fraction 1 by 4, we will divide the second circle into 4 equal parts and shade 1 part. Since the number of parts in these circles is not equal, we cannot subtract 1 by 4 from 5 by 6. So first, we make the number of parts equal. Can you think of a way to do this? Okay, let me tell you. If we divide each of these 6 parts into 2 parts, then we get 12 equal parts. Similarly, if we divide each of these 4 parts into 3 parts, then too we get 12 equal parts. Now that the total number of parts is equal, we can subtract them. Since here 10 out of 12 parts are shaded, the fraction is 10 by 12. Similarly here, 3 out of 12 parts are shaded. Therefore, the fraction is 3 by 12. Thus, the equivalent fraction of 5 by 6 is 10 by 12 and the equivalent fraction of 1 by 4 is 3 by 12. Now since the denominators are equal, we can subtract 3 parts from 10 parts. After subtraction, 7 out of 12 parts are remaining. Therefore, the subtraction of 1 by 4 from 5 by 6 is 7 by 12. Hence, in order to perform the addition and subtraction of unlike fractions, we need to make their denominators equal. Use of LCM is the simplest method to do this. For example, the LCM of denominator 5 of 2 by 5 and 3 of 1 by 3 is 15. Multiplying the numerator 2 and the denominator 5 of 2 by 5 by 3 will give 6 by 15. And multiplying the numerator and denominator of 1 by 3 by 5, we get 5 by 15. Since the denominators of both the equivalent fractions are equal, both are like fractions. And to find the sum, we add the numerators and keep the denominators as it is. Similarly, to find the difference, we subtract the numerators and the denominator is kept as it is. Today, we have learned addition and subtraction of fractions. In the next video, we will see some examples related to this.